history is filled with unusual stories and sometimes we're lucky enough to see them preserved forever in pictures. In this photo collection you can see around 35 most unique and bizarre photographs in history. Photographs can give us a window into the past like no other and serve as a witness to that which took place long ago and might even look quite odd to our modern eyes. By the early 20th century, photography attracted upper middle class enthusiasts who saw the camera as a new art medium, ready to take snapshots of a world that surrounded them. A world of new inventions, new professions and new eccentricities. Society was rapidly changing and while still clinging to the past, it was a time of contradiction. A circus performer in an aquarium car with crocodiles, Berlin, 1933. An Iron Man of the past in a diving suit. The suit's name was Iron Man too. It had electric charging and a pressure protection system. New York, 1907. Charles Godefroy flies through the Arc de Triomphe in Paris. The height of the opening is 29.42 meters. The width is 14.62. The wingspan of the aircraft is nine meters wide. 1919. A visitor with a candle in her hand smiles at the large collection of skulls in the catacombs of Paris. 1935. A crowd watching a British airship fly across the port of Ostead during World War I. 1914. Actor Johnny Eck, who was born with an undeveloped lower torso, poses for a promotional photo for the famous film Freaks in 1932. A blind World War I veteran's marriage, 1921. Women learned to shoot in prison on Roosevelt Island in New York, 1932. Welsh spiritualist Colin Evans finds levitation by jumping up and down in tall darkness and filming himself with an infrared camera, London, 1939. Foreign city citizens await the appearance of the Virgin Mary at the viaduct, not far from the Christian school, where children allegedly observed her the day before, in Belgium, 1933. The telepath tries to hypnotise the chimpanzee, 1941. A tactical trick of soldiers during the Mexican Revolution in 1913. Soviet cryptographer Igor Guzenko. 1945. In this photo, he hid his face on an interview with Saul Pet from the Associated Press. Kuzinko worked for the Soviet Embassy in Ottawa and fled to the West in 1945. He brought them all in a hundred classified documents and information about the Soviet spy network in Canada. 29 spies were arrested and convicted afterwards. Kuzinko received an impressive reward, a mansion and political asylum. Soldiers of the British Royal Horse Artillery on pack horses. The animals turned out to be so obedient that they allowed the soldiers to perform tricks like these in 1915. Robert Kennedy and West Berlin Mayor Willie Brandt look through the Berlin Wall. February 22nd, 1962. Marsha Pinkenfield, six months old, who won a very unusual competition and was chosen as the most beautiful child in America in 1927. Exercises at the St. Willy Bardus Mental Hospital, Netherlands, 14th of February 1956. Faces of War, a banquet for French soldiers who received grievous injuries during World War I. Paris, 1925. Disguise of British military equipment as elephants, India in World War II. Adolf Hitler in the national trousers of the Tyrolians and Bavarians called Lederhosen in 1927. American singer Al Johnson portraying a black man and the set of the movie Bar of Wonders in 1934. The Hungarian engineer Stefan Neeld made the machine he invented supposedly made people and inanimate objects invisible, 1935. Eight-year-old Freddie McIntosh in a sun protection suit the boy's skin is very sensitive to daylight due to illness. A novel hour of entertainment was recently presented to a radio audience of the nation with the inauguration of the Michelin Hour, presented by the Rubber Tyre Manufacturing Concern, 
The orchestra's members were attired in grotesque fashion, seen here in 1928. US Army men casually seated around a table as one on horseback jumps over the table. Heimwehr mobilized, ready for action. Vienna, Austria. All the Heimwehr forces in Vienna were, have been mobilized in order to get ready for immediate action. Armored cars are patrolling the main streets in case of disturbance. 1934. Ivan Unger, a member of the Flying Black Nats, and Gladys Roy are shown playing tennis on the wing of an airplane in flight. Burbank, California, celebrating the harvest of California's 1930 grape crop, one of the largest on record. Society Girls of Burbank staged an open air festival in the famous McClure Vineyards, during which they crowned the 1930 Queen of the Vineyards to rule over the 50 million pound yield. The photo shows Wilma Smith, Breeding grapes, eating a sample. Three late 1920s era cars and about 10 people apparently camping or picnicking, perilously near the edge of the Palouse River Canyon in Washington State. Old Ryle's new tricycle, 1982. Dumont engineer James A. Craig demonstrates a simple dialing procedure on a completely automatic dial direct mobile two-way radio telephone system in Clifton, New Jersey on March 28, 1957. The system, presently used by the Richmond Radio Telephone Service Inc., is manufactured by Alan B. Dumont Laboratories Inc. and is the first radio telephone equipment to allow phone calls to and from vehicles to be relayed completely unattended through local telephone companies. Nikola Tesla, 1856 to 1943, naturalized American physicist, sitting in his Colorado Springs laboratory with his magnifying transmitter in 1899. Surprise spectators look on in amazement as Miss Beth Pitt takes a new pet fawn, Star Message, for a walk in Midtown New York in November 16th, 1942. Earlier in the day, Miss Pitt paid a fine of $2 in court for letting her pet to roam free in Central Park. An Army Sikorsky R5 helicopter undergoing record trials demonstrating its lifting power by carrying 17 persons and pilot aloft as female onlookers wave in Bridgeport, Connecticut on January 10th, 1946. During the tests, records were claimed for altitude speeds and both altitude and speed with payload. Commander Richard Bird, wearing a specially designed leather helmet and mask, used during his flight from Spitsbergen over the North Pole and back. Commander Bird and pilot Ford Burnett used a Fokker plane, making the trip of 1,360 miles in a little more than 15 hours. Alfred Hitchcock meets Leo the Lion, 1957. The uniform mob of smiling humanoid mice seen here were gathering with an early meeting of the Mickey Mouse Club in Ocean Park, California, 1930.